Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him for the mighty things that he will do tonight. Thank him for burdens that will be lifted. Thank him for destinies that will be changed forever. tonight we hand over this meeting to you we ask oh God that you do move tremendously do a quick walk in our midst Lord let no one here with any burden go back with it I ask oh God that you will do strange miracles in our midst in Jesus name I pray I'd like you to walk up to three or four people just greet them and tell them be ready for a strange miracle Psalms 28. Please be seated. God bless you. We have a lot to do tonight. We're going to trust God for grace. We appreciate all those following us online from whatever nation you are connecting. The Lord bless you. The same power here will touch you in the name of Jesus. And for those outside, overflow one, two, three. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Psalm 28. Welcome to our September miracle service. This is first um, of October. We thank God for his wisdom and what he has done. And I know that the Lord will truly bless us tonight in Jesus' name. I'm excited in my spirit because I know that someone is waving his challenges goodbye forever. Psalm 28, we're going to read verse 6 to 9. Verse 6 to 9, then I'll just exhort us a bit, and then we're going to pray. Those of, all, those of us who are coming here for the first time, you are welcome. This is Koinonia. You will not need to tell anyone you came here. Something will come upon your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 28. Blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplications. We are reading to verse 9. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am held. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is their strength and he is their saving, the saving refuge of his anointed. Verse 9. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. I want you to pray in one minute and say, I'm dropping every load I came here with. I will never go back with it. Lift your voice and insist. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Don't be careless tonight. There are families here who have brought all kinds of challenges. Lift your voice and pray. Send us help from Zion tonight. Lord, I'm not returning back. Not with that sickness again. Not with that captivity. I come tonight insisting, not at this level of grace again, not at this level of favor, not with this oppression. I place a demand on your power. I place a demand on your anointing.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Sit down. Let me teach you something. Revelation 1 verse 1. This is not where I'm going, but I just want to show you something. You see, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Every time God gives a mandate, please pay attention, be sensitive. Every time God gives a mandate, there are invisible forces. Listen carefully. No man is ever sent alone. You cannot do the work of God, the ministry of the Spirit in the strength of the flesh. So every time God anoints a man or commissions an agenda, there are invisible forces. They don't come in response to prayer. Are we together? There are angels that come when we pray, but there are angels that follow graces. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They are not, they do not come in response to prayer. They don't come when the people believe. They come everywhere the anointing that backs that assignment goes. Are we together now? Ezekiel had a very strange vision and he saw a wheel and he saw that the shadow beams were following the direction of the wheels. Wherever it was going, it directed them. So I want you to know that there, there are two kinds of spiritual forces at work tonight. There are spiritual forces that come in response to the prayers of the saints. But there are spiritual forces that are positioned to make sure that every mandate given by God comes to pass. Are we together? Revelation chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 1. It says, and he sent it and did what? And he signified it by his angel. There was an angel that was assigned with that revelation to make sure that not only John received it, but to make sure that revelation was guarded and delivered. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, the host of heaven is in this place. There are angelic activities that saw you when you were writing your request when you were taking the step of faith in the midst of the pain when you were dragging yourself and saying if i'm not healed this night i don't know what will happen there were angels sent to signify because you see you were coming because you believed that god will touch you are we together? The angels are not at random. Then they start walking around hoping who are we attached to? No, God is not that disorganized. Right from your home, an angel was signified. Yes, sir. This yes, person sir. coming with cancer, who is the angel? And he follows. Ah. If you decide to change your mind and go back, the angel will not be represented here. The angels that come on account of prayer will come. But the ones mandated that you tap into the provision that the anointing is made for you, you may never get that experience. Listen, let me tell you something. And I say it with all humility. If you find yourself on this ground, half of your miracle has happened. Believe me. Do you know why? Listen, listen. This is not boastful statement. If you know the forces that stand between your house and this place, that stand between your mind what do you think happens when you change your mind and money disappears days to come and you feel weak and trouble comes it's an agitation so that you were able to take the step of faith and arrive some of you arrived since afternoon and you've been seated patiently god is not a joker and he signified it by his angel and he signified it there are forces that back men as i just mentioned forces i just started seeing lights when i see these things i know that they are angelic activities lights lights the bible says there are angels that excel in strength they excel in strength. They wore warfare. They, 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 they were given an assignment from heaven. They are not just here waiting. No. They were sent. God said, make sure this woman does not go back with this pain. 
she didn't go to a herbalist make sure this sister does not go back with that devil and he sent it I'm giving us an orientation like this because you see many of us are very casual when we come into the presence of God sometimes we are not trained to discern atmospheres it is important for you to understand atmospheres don't create themselves mysteries create them so you may just be sitting and looking at a chair but there is a lot there is a programming you came and entered into are we together now yes there is a business that men do with god before just coming nobody is stupid enough to come and stand before thousands of people and hold a mic and talk nonsense it's suicidal there must be an agreement with god and god says go and it is on the strength of that that you can dare to stand and say oh grave where is your sting oh sickness where is your limitation are we together please i want you to know i'm i'm giving us a little orientation because i truly the the things i saw in my visions as i prayed god is going to rest on this place in a heavy way it's as if it's as if there is an agitation and i've been sensing this whenever i sense the burden of the spirit i know that in partnership with god's people god is tired of certain situations that must change but the the the, the thing is about us if we are willing to partner with him God can be willing but we can be careless and hope well if, if it happens that's all right let me just watch if my situation changes no problem if the new anointing comes to my life no problem if God opens up a new door no problem if the employment comes no problem but tonight is for people who insist and say there's no plan B God I've come tonight there is no plan B. I'm not hoping for a job next month. I've had other testimonies. I don't know who you must talk to. But thank God the man of God said there are angels. They must walk this night too. This is, this is the kind of audacity. This is the kind of insistence. Oh God, we are 11 in our family. Nobody is rising. Are we cursed? We love you. We serve you. No job. No children. No marriage. No peace. Come on now. You need to get angry. There is an agitation that provokes the anointing. Are we together? Lord, I didn't live a wayward life. Now there is a terminal disease that is about to destroy me. I don't know where it came from. I just found out that they said I have HIV or cancer. Insist that I must leave you this night. Don't sit down and be hoping and saying, well, uh, if it doesn't, no nobody who has an option receives a miracle you don't receive miracles with options it is if i perish i perish let it not be that you wasted your transport to come and you are saying okay lord let's watch what happens no sir. lord i've heard that you can change the stories of men i've watched you do it hallelujah There is a connection. You see, what causes things to happen in the kingdom is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The power of God is the mysterious agency behind results. Whenever results happen in the physical, the agency, the force that makes results to happen is the power of God. It's not just prayer. Listen carefully. It's not just the words words are vehicles in those words are the force and the power the life-giving power of god but listen carefully there is a relationship that many believers do not understand between faith and the anointing many people have written books about faith and the anointing and the teaching that most people have received in the body of christ is that you can choose faith or you can choose the anointing there are two routes to choose from is a lie there's nowhere in the bible where that is taught i've read my bible very well this is an office that god has given me 
I can tell you about the anointing. There is no place in the Bible where you can choose either between faith and the anointing. No, sir. They will always work. Faith in itself does not produce results. Faith connects you to the flow of the anointing. It is the anointing, the power of God that produces results. Why is faith important? Because that is the only way God designed for men to touch the anointing. The possibilities of God are only authorized to be manifested when there is faith. What is faith? Conviction. Conviction. And the action that is taken on the strength of that conviction. Very simple. Faith is conviction. The most important aspect of faith is conviction accumulating scriptures is not conviction that you are familiar with scriptures does not mean conviction conviction is of the heart it is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit where faith is grounded in the spirit of a man is called conviction are we together listen to me the reason why many believers do not see the outstretched arm of god is because there is truly no faith if the problem is not anointing it is faith because many believers are not bible believing believers many believers do not study the word of god you see the system of the miraculous is such that you must understand that god is not a herbalist the basis of the introduction of his power to your life is access to his will access to his will that's the starting point of faith it matters to god that you are convinced not only that he wants to touch you or that he is able to touch you but that he's willing to touch you the bible is full of god's willingness but until you find out you're not going to believe nothing you believe a report you believe an information you believe a truth someone must propose something to you he said whose report will you believe the starting point is your access to a truth not just a random access to scripture oh by his stripes i'm healed oh i'm the head and not the tail oh i'm the righteousness of god that's just stories brothers and sisters that's not conviction an accumulation of scriptures is not conviction conviction is a product of meditation that you take the word of god and say lord there has to be a way out now let me tell you while you are meditating your situation has not yet changed it is the meditation that will change it you will not meditate when it changes that you sit down and you open your bible and you say we are 12 in our family and every door has closed door of favor closed door of everything and you find a scripture and you stay with the holy ghost while you are studying that scripture you are clueless on what to do don't worry faith is rising in your spirit and all of a sudden the word of god is energized in your spirit the holy ghost opening you up he brings you to a point where you are convinced such that even if you don't receive the result yourself you can no longer say it's a lie you will just admit that this thing has not worked for me but to disbelieve that this is god's will is impossible that's conviction you get to a point where the truth the, your certainty about that truth is no longer about your result again that you look at it and say male and female he created them if i never give birth to a child from my womb i will never disbelieve the fact that god gives children that's conviction where you are not your situation is too small to make you change this is who god is this is what he has said conviction most times we come to god we think we have faith but the truth of the matter is that we just come and hope okay lord i just hope let the man of god prophesy to me i i hope will he lay hands on me will i be healed i don't know what will happen but lord i hope no 
no the bible is full of god's manifesto so that you will believe him brothers and sisters if you were god will you gather a whole family like this and then tell them i'm joking there's something people do a pray fool you know it you know how angry you are when they do a pray fool for you because of the seriousness that is committed in the information and then the person tells you i was joking no sir no sir no sir god cannot call a solemn assembly like this to come and waste your time and then to say that he's going to give you a job now let me tell you there is every possibility you will go back and that job will not happen and it's not god's fault god is saying if my power does not come your direction something is stopping it faith faith blind Bartimaeus will not shout if he did not believe jesus would heal him he heard that this man could heal and although he was blind he said thou son of david he never called him jesus that's a revelation that's a revelation all those who knew jesus never called him jesus they called him by certain names thou art christ the son of the living god son of david have mercy upon me are we together now so once you are here seated you didn't come for church you are the one who knows the fire you left to come here let me tell you how to respond and receive number one you have to be convinced that God is able and willing to step in step in now you may say man of God you don't know how many men of God have prayed for me let me teach you something about miracles there is there is a dimension of the grace of God you only experience when you find a man that is sent to you listen very carefully there were many widows in Zarephath and I'm sure those widows called on the God they knew but to none was Elijah sent the Bible never said the widows were not taken care of Elijah was not the only prophet so other systems were designed by God but as far as the widow of Zarephath is concerned one of the greatest testimony that can happen to a man is to discern the anointing that can solve your problem that a man is anointed does not mean he solves every problem no sir no sir there were people jesus was on earth he did not touch them it was when the apostles received the holy ghost they came back and met those people and the, the apostles touched them paul who was saul was on earth but the earthly ministry of jesus did not affect him it was till jesus went to heaven and then he had several encounters and came so that a man is anointed it will be arrogant to just guarantee and imagine that everybody will be touched by your anointing it's not true these are very deep spiritual mysteries jesus said john 17 listen to what he said he said all that you have given me that means there were some that were not given they were given to his salvation but not his earthly ministry they were given to be benefactors of his salvation as the lamb of god but they were not given to be partakers of his earthly ministry all that you have given me listen he was giving god a report he says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and it's not because i was careless he was lost so that scriptures might be fulfilled people of god i want you to believe god and trust god tonight if you carry your problem and come and carry your anger and annoyance anger does not give miracles oh my stupid husband my stupid wife no you are going to come with your heart open and say lord i know i know it is within your power and you 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 are receptive receptive to prophecies receptive to instructions receptive to the move of god that when his power comes close to you you know that lord this is it i've gotten my miracle testifying is not magic you program your spirit to be a benefactor the anointing of the spirit can come and pass a place and you can stand as though it never located you is that true but there is a way you can position your spirit it's called faith first your conviction a, a sense of certainty 
that God will touch me. The program was tailor-made. I was talking with the protocol while we were coming. And I was telling him that from start to finish of our programs, especially the miracle service, everything is designed to make sure that your miracle does not escape you. From the opening prayer to everything, to the nature of the prayers, the miracles, then prayer requests, then everything. And then still after the service, I stand to see people. It's, it's a design to make sure that everybody receives. Don't let the devil mock God in your life. You are going to insist and say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Now, let me tell you something with Satan. Because Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh. He knows that the way he destroys your faith is to supply informations around your life that are very obvious. Is that true? Right now, you are sitting down. Then he uses the pain. And he says, tell me, man or woman of faith, is it no pain you are feeling now? And then you are tempted to say, but it's true. Tell me, man or woman of God, is it not your rent issue you left at home? Is the landlord not waiting for you at home? When you hear that kind of thing, it just agitates you. But people of faith say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I choose to believe. It is in the believing the miracle will come. I'm not ready to be distracted now. It is in the believing that the miracle will come. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear. Tonight in this place, there are people who are afflicted by all kinds of diseases. Some of you have had medical reports. Some of you have spent money in the hospital and it has become clear. Some of you were even recommended by doctors. We thank God for the caliber of doctors we're having now. They are spiritual people. Once they try once, twice, it's them who will advise you and say, we will not stop you. But Mr. Man, find a man of God quick. Are we together now? There are people here sick with all kinds of oppression. Benihim calls sickness death, limited death. He calls sickness limited death. That means if you are sick, it's like a part of you has already died. And it's true. There are people here with all kinds of delays in need of major breakthroughs. Not everyone here is sick. But there are people in need of all kinds of breakthroughs. There are people here. And many people do not know. That the causes of their challenges. Are oppressions. Demonic oppressions. Demonic oppressions. Activities of spiritual forces. In the lives of people. Programming repeated cycles of tragedy. Programming repeated repeated cycles of tragedy there are people tonight in need of supernatural solutions solutions that only God can give job issues promotion issues health issues all kinds of issues it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service a miracle service is an atmosphere where the multifaceted possibilities of God are allowed unrestrained. It's like a feast. If you are sick, then there is a dimension of him that can address that. If you are not sick but oppressed of the devil, there is a dimension of him. Now, it's important for us to understand how God answers prayers. Because many of us have been praying. We have prayed here over our issues. There are many of us, what you need tonight is prayers and wisdom. That is the answer that you need. Wisdom. You may not be sick, 
but a lot of your decisions may not be accurate and you will need a supply of wisdom or higher wisdom number two there are people tonight the miracle you need is grace for obedience grace for obedience grace for obedience that spiritual inertia that reluctance to rise up responding to your conviction is what has kept many of us where we are there are people tonight your prayers will be answered to deliverance there is no discussion you don't need counseling you need those spirits out of your life and the legal basis not just the spirits out of your life but the legal authorization that keeps them in your life keeps them in your family there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is healing for your body healing for your soul do you know years ago i didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing i felt it was very feminine and for lazy people most I, I felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing if you needed emotional healing you needed orientation too but it's not true um emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing are we together the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out there are people in need of all kinds of healing there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness that's how God will answer you you need to forgive and you also need to repent that's your miracle service tonight there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is prophecy you need a prophetic word you need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues no long story no discussion alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy pay attention there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor it's very clear that if favor came into your life you would not be where you are favor there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation greater fire greater unction greater activation of the gifts of the spirit greater activation of of a higher capacity for spiritual things there are people tonight your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation everybody here will receive tonight through one or more of these means a supply of wisdom grace for obedience deliverance from spirits healing repentance forgiveness prophecy favor impartation your assignment is to be sensitive to when your word comes you see that like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started something is already happening to her you see god is already doing his business with her for someone in the overflow you may be in maybe overflow three overflow three the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen doesn't matter the only thing you benefit standing close to a man of God is convenience in the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter whether you are here whether you are outside whether you are online whether you are in any nation doesn't matter the time zone the most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing then a supply of the power of God comes your direction tonight brothers and sisters I present to you a God who is almighty tonight I present to you a king that can heal that can change situations the Bible says where the word of a king is there is power I present to you one who is not limited by our situations 
I present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you. I present to you one who loves you enough to change your life. I present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence. God is not a herbalist. God is not a prophet. He walked on the earth and manifested those things. But he is God almighty. I want your heart to be open tonight. Especially if you are here for the first time. You may have come, gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere. You must open up your heart to receive. We have prayed, we've partnered with God and God is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full. In full, in full, not part of it. Remember the negotiation that Pharaoh wanted? He wanted to broker a negotiation and said, let your wives go leave your kids behind and, and Moses said no way that's not what God told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling God must come in and touch it don't say it does not matter why believe God in one area and not believe in another regardless of the area it is still the power of God that will solve it don't trust God to heal your body and then not change your financial situation no don't trust God to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again. Do you believe tonight that the Lord is going to step in and change your life? Truly speaking, let me tell you this. God has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing. It still marvels me after many years of working in the anointing, how the anointing works is still a marvel to me at how when the power of God truly locates someone how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of God that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that God did in her life and I'm not a very emotional person, but I was almost fighting tears. I says, God already, first of October, a strange. These are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles. Listen, these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear, if only one of it happens per year, you are happy. Major miracles that can shift your life. I said, Lord, thank you because my family members are also partaking. Because they have to believe too that they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically. No, the brothers of Jesus kept watching him and he said, don't be watching, no. Release your faith. Some of you here are sitting. You have cried in the secret. You have cried in the open. Let this be your last cry. Are we together? Only God knows the pain that some of you are seated here with. The level of pain you are, you are seated. That, see, this is why we fast and pray and prepare. Because we will be wicked to allow people come. Some of you started your journey since last week. You have come to camp, spend time, spend resources. No, this is not a cinema hall. This is not a place of games. Some of you have carried sick people. Some of you have carried sick bodies. There is a God that can reward. There is a God that can reward. Please hear me. I may not claim I know everything about God, but I know this God enough to know He's mighty. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are 
things that are not in your life but should be there the agency that will bring it is the anointing there is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life if it's not there everybody will know when it comes we will also know there were things that were not in my life years ago when it came I knew to the degree that brought it listen tonight is the ministry of the spirit I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result it is the, the it, it said, how shall these things be what is the dynamics he said the power of the highest that's how it happens it has never changed it is always an encounter with the anointing your the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing it is never faith that moves God no your faith connects you to the power of God tonight I came with an anointing there is enough grace there is enough anointing I tell you this there is enough anointing if you will believe there is enough anointing your situation is not the first your situation is the it's not the first your family situation is not the greatest there is nothing new under the sun God's ability is God's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me it's God's ability. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's God answering your prayer I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing Your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received
in the spirit and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed delayed by the power of darkness I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay bring them out I stretch my hands delay you come on that judgment you come on that judgment delay delay I stretch my hands all the overflows online anyone here any family under the spirit of delay Bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God. Breaking the chains of delay. 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 Chains of delay. Bring them out. Wani kamar da kai Delay over over forever There is an anointing I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers There is an anointing Wani I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketo Kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three. Please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and I want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of Jesus right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow three the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay 
Hallelujah. There are still people. Listen, I want you to believe in what God is doing. I want you to have a testimony. Without an encounter with his power, it will just be a religious service, I promise you. And you will go back. It is the power of God. The power of God is what draws the line. Hallelujah. Delay. Delay. God is not yet done. Where is that family, oh Lord, that nobody has moved forward? I'm seeing delay. Don't worry, God is coming in. The anointing of the Spirit is looking for a family. There is a family. There is a family. There is a family. Shakatosete. Shabrata skatapareketa. They are here. There is a family. Jesus. Shokos ketetosia. Help this woman. Sheketos keleketa yata tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather. Inside that grave. And I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out. And the Lord is saying this was done against a family. Lord where is that family? Right now I stretch my hands. Shekatos kata. Rakato shekete teka. Epereata, Shopero to Scotta, Preta Tialatos, whoever programmed the earth to fight any family, Keleto Soteriata, tonight is a night of resurrection, Soteto Scariatata, Paroto Sotokos, Eleketo Cassetekotos, Priacatas Cotaria Tatosia. I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve in the name of jesus any family tied down by witchcraft, any family tied down by ordinances, I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, liberty tonight, liberty tonight. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata. Lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least 
eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance i really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as i'm praying for you now i'm seeing a rope a rope i'm seeing a rope and the lord is saying that i should set this mama free i'm just being fast because i want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what i want to do now i want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction i just want you to shout when i ask you the name of jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be my voice may your grace be my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams. In the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Ketiata. Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits. I separate you from those covenants. I separate you from those ordinances. Any man, any woman, any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your, your children one one child your son eh only you no there's a son he's here where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, or something? Augustus. Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir if you have never believed a man of God in your life what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus. Over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper. By the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel. Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine. Come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine. I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My 
brother, your brother, come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel. Too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Ye two. Ye two. What is Ye two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or Ye two or Ye two? Something like that. Ye two. Something that has to do with Ye two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Ye two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Ye two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus your miracle has come your miracle has come you love Jesus my friend look at me you love Jesus I want to pray for you ah, in the name of Jesus why is she here your dad there is a copper that I want to pray for there is a copper something is coming on you my dear Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Oleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale Ale Kuos, Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? 
What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, they are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They called that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shagato Totokata, Breketo Skote Satariatosia, Leketabosh, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. Jumai, 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 is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit spirits that I see in this family this is something that is older than older than old this is hundreds of years old but in the name of Jesus I'm praying now I use you as a point of contact I command that spirit you must go now hallelujah please just allow me this is Juma. I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of Jesus, there is disfavor in your life. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. Anybody who plans 
to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they i'm stretching my hands now and i'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as i stretch my hands right now i release the power of god to that family right now i speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of jesus there's somebody here you lost your job in the month of march march you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of march i want us to hurry up I, i'm i'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of march i don't know if you are except if he's a person is far maybe overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of march where is that person please quickly if there's someone like that what were you doing i was a banker i was a banker you're a banker yes sir something happened yes sir and they dismissed you yes sir what are you doing now i'm doing my pg program for now do you believe if i pray for you you'll get a job yes sir will you come and testify yes sir where where have you been praying for sir sorry where have you been praying for for a job uh same bank Bank same job. bank same bank you want them to call you back yes sir do you believe they can call you back sure. in the name of jesus i decree and declare because you see i'm looking at something that had to do with money and truly the guy was innocent but they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus Whatever should not leave you and left you. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come well stand up sir you were outside yes, overflow three overflow three yes you sir. lost your job where were you working i'm working in hospital which as hospital? an accountant which hospital Tukutuku medical centers so that you see we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy i hope you are not embarrassed sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just to get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that. do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul paul yes sir god will give you a job eh? amen the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord listen so when it has to do things there we don't legislate we make petitions but the act has he given to the sons of men i give you a job now in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you will go and return with it in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord um how many of us are trusting god for healing miracles or came with loved ones that are really sick 
Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get Chuo now. to Mama, I want to get you. I want to get you. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all, all we've got, got to do. Let her go now. Casting Cast drums out. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all we've got to do. In your name, we will rise. I don't know. That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly, particularly, no matter what overflow you are in, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here. And then part of overflow two, maybe half of overflow two can join them. Now overflow one, please you go to your projector stand. Overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside. You can move to the projector stand. Overflow three. If God grants grace and there's time, I'll just run and come and visit you briefly. Just to let you know we're together. Overflow 3, move to your projector stand. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray very quickly. Please, if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you, don't worry. We have to pray quickly so that I'll focus and do other things. I want everybody to receive. Will that be fine? But those who are trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you're in overflow, one, two, three, wherever, I like you to please come. Those online, doesn't matter any nation, those following us online, doesn't matter your nation you're trusting God for a miracle I want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers 
Number two, you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith. And then number three, we'll come out. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign on Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. Casting crowds. We are lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. It's in your name. We will rise. I don't know. You ain't on high. It's in your name. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we will coordinate. We will make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Um, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with, um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow inside here i don't know how many people are left and by god's grace god will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister okay kenny kenny join join um a jimmy you join a jimmy there i think that's that's all right so far let's let's just trust god for grace father we agree in the name of jesus christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles. In Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know. If we still have people, I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship team. You are going to give us, we are going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, 
I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know how to do. Can I hear you say, do what only you know? Do what only you know how to do. Can you lift up a voice and say, do what only you know? Do what only you know how to do. Shake it to Catapara Cotosia. 
In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more they should come quickly. Pray, Shekatabarato. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy, let there be strange miracles. Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whenever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar, through the internet, to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered. In the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them. Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted. We seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night.
The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on, please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on over people is for supernatural clarity and direction that's what i hear receive it now people are receiving it people are receiving it i prophesy clarity clarity god is answering questions now by the anointing if that fire comes from you you are receiving direction right now clarity clarity all the overflows clarity I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakatakatakata. Shakatakatakata. Prosketekata. Everywhere. 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 Inside. Outside. Outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families. Over individuals and over families. Individuals who have lost things. Lost things. Lost opportunities. Lost opportunities. Somebody is recovering an opportunity. Somebody is recovering something that left you. hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they Brakatos, inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory I clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit I've prayed for her but I'm looking I'm this is this your mother two of you I want to pray for you eh? what you need I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you God must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? I'm not saying you are witches but I have to pray for you this is the instruction God is giving me father in the name of Jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore I lay my hands on you in the name of Jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of Jesus you came to stand in for your mother but Satan has his own plan for you in the name of Jesus Kai. wickedness is real I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision I'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and I'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot Lord I don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of Jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now who say now who is that please let her come please quickly you are Husena. what's your name huh? Husena. I want to pray for you eh? I'll pray for two of you but you are the one I want to pray for what's your name from where what state are you from you are from FCT do you believe in favor shout it no, you are not shouting you have shout favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you favor who say now I want to pray for you you are who say now to madam please come you too is it more than daughter or you are coming by yourself you are who say now to I'll pray for you but this is the lady I want to speak to you love Jesus with all your heart I want to pray for you God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family major breakthrough I lay my hands right now and I command let it happen right now in the name of Jesus where are you from my dear Jalingo Taraba in the name of Jesus the Lord gives you a miracle now in the name of Jesus let me pray for you every bad luck must live your life now eh? every bad luck must live your life I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go 
this lady only bad things look for her there are people like that when good things come they just turn there is a spirit that turns it away everybody is getting a job something that is simple when is your turn let me tell you something hardship is not poverty hardship is a spirit you get things but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years is hardship is a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now you can't go, give god glory under that kind of condition simple things you ask somebody out i want to marry you they answer you after four years it's a cause are you are you a demon it's a cause you start a building project you finish after 10 years it's not a blessing a hard life is worse than poverty this is what the devil has put on the life of this lady i i take it away now in the name of jesus and i use her as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now let me pray for you man in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon you and I release favor in the name of Jesus favor I'm seeing someone you are into printing please let's hurry up we have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing you print like um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person I want to pray for you you are into printing uh, I will pray for you but the person I'm seeing I'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long? Since my, my childhood, sir. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina? Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in Kagzara. In, in because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad. All of you, I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen something happens and destroys your life i have to pray for you where is your dad he huh? stays in abuja he stays in abuja that's where you stay too yes what's your name peace peace i want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of jesus daddy we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray every trouble we avert now you two you are into the printing where abu press. press yes you work with abu press yes you walk there now it's not your own okay but i will still pray for you in the name of jesus christ grace the one for me now i release you eh? can i pray for businesses yes, sir. can i speak over businesses huh? you are into printing uh, what's your name hasana hasan you 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 need to um well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart. When you are coming to the house of God, listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, 
no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed, you look smart, eh? you are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands. Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. It. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are into printing too. In the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor, but for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where down go. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what? Sorry. Then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy, you experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll say there's some people. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. 
uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as God steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you are one you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands you must go now to draw from you again again we've come to draw draw Mark this woman, the kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students. 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? Oh, you are a student. Yes. UK. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the Spirit. Hi. This lady is oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God. You didn't come out for Taylor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You Listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady. And you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry. And then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? 
Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too. I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this you could don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before god but i pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of jesus Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas, what you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field. So that it will open doors for you. May someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are trying to sell properties. There's nobody to buy. But if someone comes to buy it, God will use it to honor you. I call somebody to buy it now. In the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight 
the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became ruth the wife of boaz i don't know who i'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month i release it to you right now i release it to you right now in the name of jesus christ help that woman there please there are people from january till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened i stand before the god of heaven and i decree and declare may my god do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare i don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open i open that door for you right now i open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again i set you free right now help that i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes i declare may the prince of peace may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finishers anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos kataprati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is 
anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes I need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of God zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying the fire the Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord the fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny Sokoto Pakata from the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with God take a fresh fire for your work with God hear me some of you the moment you open your Bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal I decree and declare passion for the word of God receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen results and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting God as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting God it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from God whatever is drawing you away from God I cause that thing now listen we are rounding up God and prosperity can go hand in hand God and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point God is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands I want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations I will not end this meeting without this impartation I'm praying now at the count of three let an unction let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand one two three take it now healing anointing take it now prophetic mantle take it now grace for signs and wonders receive it may your hands become healing hands may your hands become miracle hands Deliverance hands, favor hands. Hear me. The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school. Depending on the one that does not work. Soul winning is never old school. The Bible says, He that winneth souls is wise. I pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor 
in the name of Jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether I mentioned it or not I'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start within 24 hours let your miracle start those of you who came from far before you get to where you came from you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of God a woman of God you have a fellowship you have a church I pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. When you invite people, you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger. Yes, you increase them in numerical strength. But the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters. Hallelujah. For all of you who take out time to invite people, may the God I serve bless you. Clear the way for them as they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are praying. Once upon a time, there was a wicked man called Haman. And he was plotting in his heart to destroy the people of God and destroy the entire destiny. Are we together now? To rob the arrival of the Messiah. And then Esther got to the palace and forgot why God took her there. And Mordecai sent a word and said, Don't you think you don't care because the palace has sealed you? But when they are done with us, are we together? Paraphrasing, you will not be spared. So you, you don't have to wait until the day trouble comes to your doorstep. Are we together now? I'd like you to pray. We are going to speak to the six geopolitical zones. Stretch your hands prophetically across these zones and declare. We fortify the borders of this nation. Lift your voice and pray. We speak over the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We decree and declare the reign of righteousness, the reign of justice. Hallelujah. The second stanza of the national anthem says, O God of creation, it says, direct our noble cause he says guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know you see the devil used a scheme over many years to erode these things that's the most powerful part of our anthem and yet 
you ask one of these little ones they can't even sing the national anthem talk more of the national pledge it was a positive indoctrination growing up even children that were bad that that consciousness and now it's no longer there are we together do you know that over 70 percent of the 180 million nigerians are less than 40 years that means nigeria is largely a youthful territory you see that we are concerning ourselves with the people who are this there no matter you see death is something that no matter your pride it will catch up with you especially as a fallen man you see that so the problem of this nation quite honestly yes it's leadership but it's not the old people we keep talking about there is a generation 70 percent less than 40. remember when we thought that solomon oppressed the people so bad the bible lets us know that when solomon died his son rehoboam came and the people said your father oppressed us so much but the bible says he made silver like dust that means someone was paying that price and they only pleaded they said don't take away the tax just reduce it small and that young boy went to consult with wicked men and he said what my father did is nothing compared to what i would do i foresee that if we don't pray for this nation the crop of young people that are coming and the level of deprivation that is in the heart of people it's not old men that kill and maim people on the street it's young people and if those kinds of people get into government we're in trouble so it is true that we have problem with our government but the bigger problem is that if a whole generation is not mentored to see the sense in a decent life that has dignity that someone can kill a woman and go free that in their minds there is no the values of respect godliness and all of these things are not there there is there is a terrible catastrophe we must avoid are we together now yes it is terrible to have the youth of a nation not honor God any man that disrespects God is it an elder he will respect is it the laws of the land that he will respect there is a wicked spirit that wants to hijack the destiny of this nation and we are going to pray are we together now from corruption to all kinds of of wickedness you deserve something they don't give you they say you are not a yoruba person you are not a hausa person you are not Igbo. you are not this and that the pledge says i pledge to nigeria my country to be faithful we are liars because we are not doing it to be faithful loyal and honest he said to serve nigeria with all my strength now here's the part to defend her unity i want us to really pray you know many times as i move around and i see our young people i know that if god it inspires me to do more but i know that if god does not help us believe me there is trouble brewing are we together now the values that made the people today we inspire are almost lost in our nation and we have to pray for a restoration we have to pray for everything god to return we have to pray that god by his wisdom will reveal the strategy for dealing with corruption are we together tribalism ethnic sentiments and all of that we cannot allow our children imagine um i was i was watching a program i think it was day before yesterday and a particular man entered a compound and found out that his room um, his yard um was his yard mate was inside he carried his child like this one that's someone else's child and threw the child inside a well they came out and saw a dead child and the man acted as if he doesn't know anything no human being you must be empowered to be that wicked 
no, men are not supposed to be that wicked. That means that there are spirits in this nation. Please, don't confuse what is happening. It's not human. There are spirits. And the church has a role to play. Our role is first and foremost to pray. And then to trust God. And to mentor the leaders that will rise and take over. We are a church that must act. This praying and saying, oh God, go and do something about it. No, we must pray number one. But then we must mentor a generation. And empower them with all the spiritual, financial and territorial resources available to make sure that men who love God and have dignity and value for life occupy those positions are you ready to pray father this nation will not fail this nation must rise lift up your voice prophesy the new Nigeria I truly truly believe in the new Nigeria I believe with all my heart I believe that the labor of our heroes past will not be in vain. I believe that a time will come, like Ezra, there will be the rebuilding of the wall. A time will come when the proverb Ichabod will not be said about our nation again. In spite of the seeming decadence, in spite of the seeming challenge that we have across territories, Lord, we prophesy a new Nigeria. We decree and declare that the forces that attempt to destroy our youth, the forces of corruption, the forces of moral decadence, the forces of laziness, entitlement mentality, the forces of irresponsibility, and every antichrist activity working in this nation, we challenge it in the name of Jesus. by your spirit oh god let the young people in this nation receive a new orientation a new orientation about the dignity of life the dignity of labor the dignity of respect the dignity of honor reorient our minds in the name of jesus pray Hallelujah. Let's pray for all the believers who are in position of government. Lord, the courage to be right and to stay right. Lift your voice and pray. Courage. It takes courage to be right in this nation. It takes courage. Because sometimes you will be right at the expense of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please be seated. You are welcome. This is our September miracle service holding 1st of October. I believe it's very prophetic. Amen and amen. There's a lot that God is doing. I just want to charge us very quickly and then um, I'll begin to pray for the sick. And My spirit is fired up tonight because... I know by the Holy Ghost that God is not going to rest until that which he has declared over my life and your life until it comes to pass. If you believe, say amen. Jesus gave a parable and said there was a man that went to seek help from his neighbor paraphrasing and the neighbor for a long time would not attend to him and the bible says that man kept persisting persisting and though the man would not talk to him but for his importunity he kept drumming him in other words i'm not going back the woman kept going to the judge i meant to say avenge me avenge me my adversary 
and then they would not listen to her the bible says he neither feared god nor man but that woman said i may not have the power to beat you but i have the power to force you to move and she demonstrated persistence and the bible says she wearied that unrighteous judge until he moved on her behalf i spoke about diligence last week and it's a very powerful key there is a way you stand and insist that lord what is mine must enter my hand i've seen it in my dreams i've seen it in my visions but lord i agree with you that it must be in my life archbishop benson idahosa said if your faith says yes god will not say no so we're here tonight among other things not just to pray for the sick alone not just to deliver the oppressed alone but to trust god to take away every barrier that is capable of stopping you from testifying and seeing the goodness of god in your life listen the theology of oppression is very straightforward it's very simple god has an agenda completion satan has an agenda his agenda is to stop whatever will make god happy period his agenda is not to cause you pain his agenda is not to make you broke listen his agenda is not to make you sick his agenda is not to make you fail that's not satan's agenda his agenda is to make sure he becomes a resistance to whatever in and through your life will bring god glory that's it so if it takes crippling your destiny for your life to become a mockery to god satan will go to any length to make it happen so if satan makes you broke it is not about finance if all you are looking at is finance you are, you are making a mistake it's not your finances he wants to use your life as a message to say god you are a liar so his assignment is to find everything god said concerning your life that he tied his integrity to and use your life like a canvas to paint a picture because you are the highest of his creation are we together now so if satan ensures that this man and his wife don't give birth it's not about barrenness you see if all you see is oh god when are we going to have a child it's not about barrenness there is something that your giving birth to a child will do to the name of the Lord within your territory. And that's what Satan is fighting. When Elizabeth was barren, it was not about her. It was about John the Baptist, who will ordain Jesus, who will save the world, who will bring glory to the Father. It wasn't about Elizabeth. She was just a scapegoat because she came into the midst of prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are some of you, the devil is fighting your breakthrough because he knows that that gate and that door has never been opened in your family. And he knows you are too kind to receive the blessing of the Lord and allow your loved ones cry. So he would do anything. He has already seen your heart and he will make sure it doesn't get to your hand. I have learned from the word of God and by experience, that satan is not looking for many things satan is looking for anything that can give god glory whatever can give god glory is a threat to satan i think you should write that down anything that in and through your life can give god glory is a big threat to satan more than you know your job can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your business can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your prosperity can be a threat to satan if it would give god glory your having children can be a threat to satan and that's what he's looking for so why should the devil allow god give you a car when he knows that with that car you will no longer come to church alone you want to buy a bus and he had your prayer when you were vowing and said, Lord, bless me with this bus. And I will make sure this bus is full every Sunday. And the devil says, oh, I had that. 
If you said, Lord, buy me a bus to prove to the people in my village I'm not a failure, he doesn't mind. Because all that doesn't bring glory to God. Let me tell you, not everything threatens Satan. I can tell you what threatens Satan. The moment he sees your heart saying, Lord, my life and anything that will pass through this life will give you glory. It may look simple, but you have said something to Satan that is more painful than praying in tongues. That my life, Lord, bring these millions for me. And Lord, if you bring these millions for me, I have 11 siblings along my family line that have not gone to school. And Lord, I know that if you put this in my hand, I will make sure all of them go to school. And I will make sure they go to mission schools. And Satan says, uh -huh. the school was not the issue. The mission, mission Abi, and that's it. An attack that you did not invite comes to your life. And you'll be wondering what is happening to my business. It's not the business. There is an agenda. You have connected your business to God's heart. And Satan says, that's a threat. Remember, in the Bible, Satan killed children. He didn't wait till they grew. If he killed children, he will kill visions even before they manifest. He doesn't have to wait till you get the first contract. He doesn't have to wait till you start the church. He's seeing you in the secret place praying and say, Lord, you know I desire this healing anointing, not just for myself. In this entire territory, the men of God are wonderful, but it's just evangelism here. There's no demonstration of the power of God. Lord, I come to you if it pleases you. Can you grant that through my hands? Ah, the devil sees what you are saying. If you said, Lord, anoint me because my uncle said something that I will never be a success and I need to prove to him. It will not threaten the devil. But the moment Satan is looking for the kingdom component of your prayer, the kingdom component of your communication, Anything you say and do, if Satan can find the heart of God in it, he's threatened. Lord, I thank you. Lord, you know that it's, it's not like I don't like men. Lord, I, I want to be able to, to marry somebody that loves you. It's, my, it's always been my privilege to serve you. Serve you. I want my children to call upon your name. The devil had that one too. He didn't hear, Lord, I worship you. He didn't hear, Lord, I thank you for this day. He had my children will worship you. And Satan says, no way. Make sure, make sure that this lady, wherever her marriage is, bury it to nonsense. Give her money. Give her a job. Because she has not made any statement about God being glorified in the job. So she can have the job. But the one that God will be glorified through, that's the one I'm interested in. Are we together? And then when Satan hears you pray prayers like, Lord, take my everything. The devil says, demons, you can go. I'm staying here. Take my everything. <laughs> there is a reason why Satan attacks. He does not attack you because of you. Listen. God is comforting us already because there are many of us wondering, what is all this? Lord, what is this? I will see something almost getting to me. What is the thing? Why, why is Satan taking my case personal? There is a reason. The reason is not you. Don't be fooled. It's not you. The reason is something you represent. Something that is of God through you. Satan has seen that by God's preordination, your womb is supposed to carry one of the prophets that will herald God's end time agenda. And he says, whatever, make her marry wrong or make her not get married or make her get married to somebody who has the cause of barrenness. Just do whatever you can do to clamp this lady. Oh God, my father is 71. They are still staying in a rented house. Lord, would you open a door for me? And as you do this, Lord, you see my heart. I will renovate all the churches in our village. I will sponsor this. I will buy a bus. And Satan says, buy a bus for nonsense. Renovate which church? All of a sudden, you find out that the business that everybody likes you, 
suddenly your business partner starts saying i don't understand you again it's not the business partner my brother a commitment from you has touched the heart of god and it sounded an alarm to the gates of darkness you see when you when when you understand how and why satan attacks then you will know why the power of god will continue to come around your life until victory is complete hmm. one day I, I can't remember where i was driving to sometimes i just drive in the night alone and sometimes i just move and then i parked somewhere around that market side and i was looking at someone just passing and the lord was telling me something about that guy and the lord was telling me that guy going i just saw the guy just moving and he said that guy the devil has rubbish that guy true story and that in this guy's destiny he was supposed to be the first preacher in his entire lineage and i saw the boy moving with all these these rough and scattered boys around and i was just looking i said my god if your life does not have a message that gives God glory, you will beg Satan to come. He will run. Satan, a demon, goes to a wilderness. And because there's nothing in that wilderness that has God's assignment, the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use. Remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man, it goes to a wilderness. He didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro God. And he left it back. Said, I want the man because God can still use him. I can tell you why Satan is threatened by everything around you. Your worship does something to him. Your commitment does something to him. When Satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the Lord, he says, what can I do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia? And the easiest way is, can I cripple their finances? Because if there is no money, there's no food to eat. There's no transport. And if there's no transport, there will be argument between daddy and mommy. You see that? Wise plan. All of a sudden, you find out that something that would have worked does not work again. And he steps back and allows you to blame yourself. And while the children are suffering, they say, sorry, it's time for koinonia. I say, koinonia what? And the devil said, that's it. Mission accomplished. It was never about money. That's why a lot of people say, why is it that unbelievers who don't love God, they are getting rich? What in their life threatens Satan? It's not about, I mean, look, if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars, no, sir. Satan was willing to give it to Jesus. He said, Jesus, why go the long route just bow to me i will give you this meaning if satan if jesus bowed to satan all of a sudden even caesar will be dethroned and jesus could go and sit down and satan doesn't mind provided you are my boy enjoy everything you never the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing he will say choose one hold the blessing and leave God or hold God and leave the blessing the miracle service says you can hold both that's why we're here tonight yes sir that you can say I can still serve God and pay my sibling school fees because of the blessing of the Lord I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm, yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon. You see that? Listen, you are here tonight. I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for. We are not here to waste our time. We are here to stand in agreement with God. I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives choose between raising a godly family or not getting married choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor hello choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician 
anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for. He will find you. He will haunt you. And if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom, he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life. And listen, the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God, he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage, not you. If you have headache, that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest. Satan is too wicked to just give you a headache. Satan wants to program something. You heard that, dear lady? Cancer in um, the grandmother, just like faith can be transferred. So you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35, 36, and all of a sudden she's feeling, what is this? Ah, mama died of cancer. Now I'm having cancer. Tomorrow another person has cancer. Those people don't need healing. They need deliverance. It looks like it's healing. Ask Jesus, woman, thou art loose first. When you are loose, then he laid hands on her. He said, now you, your body can participate. But the real thing is the bondage in the spirit. Are we together now? Yes. Anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering, you need to stand for them today. Oh. If you are the only one having it, it may just be your not understanding, your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus. Someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you, nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. Until God does something to your hand, money will never stay in your hand. I'm not talking about money. You can be as intelligent as whatever. I'm telling you, it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing. Because money, like a human being, has a spirit, a soul, and a body. The spirit of money is mammon or the Holy Spirit. There has to be a controlling factor. The soul of money is the, the, the intellectual system that brings the exchange. The body of money is the physical thing you are holding. So if all you are holding is just the physical thing, you are a joker. There is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you. It's true. So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and makes sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be to be fine there is an agenda i've shared with you my vision i will continue to share it years ago i was praying i think i was uh, i can't remember what was happening and then my my ceiling just disappeared i didn't see a building again and the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature, mighty creature, the eyes as big as the head of a man. And then it was, it looked like a dinosaur, but the tail had its own life, meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence. And it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was the end. That was when I agreed that prosperity 
is spiritual. If all you have is a contract, you are joking. If all you have is a shop, well done, but you are in trouble. If all you have is a good business, you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now. Estates and everything just given. No. It's not just a man that gave him. There is a spirit behind it. You need to be empowered to fail. I hope you know that when you are failing consistently, there is an anointing making that happen. An anointing is simply an empowerment. Everybody hates you. You are supposed to bless me. As soon as I come, you hate me. I now go here and I'm too late. It's not normal. When the coincidences are too accurate, there is a spirit making it happen. Someone calls you and says, please come. Let me give you something to pay the rent of your family. The moment that statement happens, the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call. Are you seeing that now? And he leaves the office. You arrive at the office, you find out the door is locked. He says, if the young man comes, just give him 2000 to go back. It's a lie. The man did not leave. Something happened. There is a spirit behind that operation. How many of you have gone to, to seek people over something that is so simple? Maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks, three weeks. You believe it's normal? And then sometimes a man of God may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there. He was not there. An angel kept him there. This is how this kingdom operates. Your destiny helper, the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you. But because there is no spiritual connection, my brother and my sister, you can stay 15 years. Whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks. You will go to America and return back like a thief. You will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates. But the day God decides to locate you, you will be surprised. Is God speaking to us? That's why we are here tonight. You can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body, Probably God has been telling you, look, your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy. But you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years. I will come for koinonia. You will now say next week. You will say, Kai, uh, ah, I'm feeling cold. Let me just relax. As soon as you want to travel, your sister will just say, ah, I just came on break. Let me tell you, all those acting is a lie. But there's something about the will of man. The day you stamp your feet and say today, I name today as my day of breakthrough. The Bible said today if you hear his voice, every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again. It has to be today. Are we together? So tonight, I don't want you to sit down and waste your time. You are hearing people testify. My brothers and my sisters, I tell you by the grace of God, there is enough grace and power to turn your life, to bring any, it's not very difficult. No, it's just your connection. Stop the arguments, the war that is happening in your head. Can God do this? You can't leave Lagos, leave the east, leave the north and come and sit down. You are wondering. You believe that God brought you to waste your time? No, sir. No, sir. I tell you, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, oh, can, can the hepatitis go? Can this go? We're talking God here. We're not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people, is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people will empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man. And for the sake of that mighty man, those nine people will remain poor. 
it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he would kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of october we'll let we'll let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that like you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no, no don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people, 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there are 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say I'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing God brought you here to change your life listen to me I repeat God brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service I will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue. At that point, you will let everybody know you are a madman. This is the result. Could it be that you have been talking too much? Let the anointing talk. I, I, will, I will build the house. I know God is faithful. I will do this. And God is saying, no. Moses only spoke small. And then the rod kept talking. You have been talking forever. 
Some of you, you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that God will give you. You stood before the Red Sea for forever. It refused to part. But God brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you, my brothers and my sisters, that that Red Sea will part and you will call your family and say, finally, we've been wondering how to build a bridge, but we found an easier road that the river can part. Tonight, I want you to know that God wants to do this, number one, because he loves you. But number two, there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him. Don't ever let anyone fool you. Hearing is our father glorified. John 15 and verse 8. This is how I am glorified. Galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says, And they glorified God in me. Not that they glorified God on the throne. They looked at my life. They saw that God can do this. You, no father, no mother. Who gave you the job? Who did you know from the top? You are a man of God. I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher. And you say, my brother, is what God can do. If it is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous. Now, eyes. For as long as your life is ordinary, your ministry is ordinary, your business is ordinary, you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain. Let me tell you, God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results. Did you hear what I said? God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody. He does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B. God will do it and put his signature. They'll say, no, this business cannot be human. I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs. My God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly. And says, if God could move, didn't man of God pray for you in by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? That before the grace is shared, you check your phone and all of a sudden, a text that you have been waiting for for five years. Now, that's an evidence. This is what we are talking about. All of a sudden, you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach. You have been trusting God for that prophetic grace. And while the preaching is going, all of a sudden, your eyes are open. You are saying, so this is what Apostle is saying. 
and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night I couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if I ask this gentleman to give me water I'm expectant I'm not expecting a handkerchief I'm expecting water anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from God thank God for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint Lord I left Lagos this morning and I came here I left Bielsa and I came here my car almost had an accident Lord I would have been in a convention now as a man of God I left it to be here I'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom I tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade there were crowds of people like this I didn't know what who wore whether you wore red or green or blue my eyes were fixed Lord what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him what kind of man is this that no one criticizes him Abba, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone no when it came I knew that I got it I knew that I got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute I like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the Lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, 
I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart.
Alléluia. Alléluia. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just passed like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen, we are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. I'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. He was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. 
please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, Kaparakoto Shegeta, Eprekete, Kete, Kete, Kete. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapakato Katabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions 
if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen i command every devil and every activity of sorcery to live now one two three in the name of jesus i cross satan i cross his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as i come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now i'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now release them i'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of jesus let them go now by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hands here right now the fire of god is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands god is about to set you free please i like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery i cause it now the spirit of witchcraft i cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free i command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there 
as soon as I come close to you, except God is not God, if there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils, go, 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 go. Let them go, go. Go now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now. Now, now, now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of 3, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of 3, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. 1, 2, 3. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shaprakato shekete skaba. Embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. 
let them go now total emancipation hallelujah jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia embrekata kakos kata brekatish now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they drink of that wine a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break the force now. 
testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus name I'm stretching my hands why am I seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of Jesus Christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now hallelujah just two more things I'll do here whether I'm in this overflow or not I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference I know the larger congregation is here lift your hands all of you if you can just lift it as high to the heavens now I'm seeing you don't have to come out but I'm seeing keys in the spirit listen this is access to a new dimension and I'm seeing the number 44 just lift your hands you don't need to say anything father I stand as one sent those keys are locating families and locating people it may be a key that explains why things have not been working Lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three I'm seen by the Spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but I stand in the name of the Lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus Emeka, who is Emeka? 
Emeka. I'm hearing a name Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka. Please quickly, please quickly. Don't waste our time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYSE. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, be broken now. Hallelujah. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here, the Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shame. Reproach. Let it go now. Shame. Reproach. Let it go now. Shame. Reproach. Help them. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm hearing a name. Who is Gabriel? Is there someone like that? You are wearing a maroon. You are wearing like maroon kaftan. Gabriel. Maroon kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. What is... Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come, quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You are a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please, sir. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? 
Huh? So your friends, huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends. They make you compromise your values. It's not your fault. But when they come, they are vocal about what they believe. And because you do not have a community of like-minded believers. But let me tell you the truth. It matters who you listen to. If the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel, God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back. See, wickedness is real. Oh. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, wickedness is real. Huh? This is a young, beautiful lady. You see her standing, but you now look at it. Do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I would now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh, you do you know what it means to be a witch? So uh, God is you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help, but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say, My dear, you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here, you find out for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean... I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um... What I'm trying to say is that, oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple. Because a body without a spirit is dead. So it's not about condemning and destroying the body. Are you getting it now? So my dear, let me tell you, you're a wonderful lady. Huh? we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father 
Hold it with both of your hands. I decree and declare. Ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands I'm seeing I've not seen this in a long time I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State Benway State now Benway State you are from Benway State you see that that power will touch you even if you don't know what state you are from Benway State Lord where is in the name of Jesus the power of God is bringing deliverance Benway State in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names in the name of Jesus madam I'm going to pray for you two things I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming. I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest. I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, 
but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Kai. jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now eh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Okay? We have we've not even prayed for the sick. Or... My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No, we came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's not sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing. You will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of Jesus Christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh, oh. to you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head 
and if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? Bielsa. Bielsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You are in ministry, both of you. Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church. Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere. Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja, yes. and then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine. Sir, I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, um, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus. You go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go. Listen. I, can we? Oh dear. 
You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request. Please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers. Just lift it. The ushers have a system of collecting it. You don't have to be rowdy. Those outside. You can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion. You can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside, be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer, the Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps, all kinds of lumps, multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions. In the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 
every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, you... just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really well. which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no, biologically biologically where yeah. are you from i'm from each i mean i'm from state 
there's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' All name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back, back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain. It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises it's a wise bargain is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say... She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride gone. a horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of jesus you are perfected completely perfected in jesus name i take away this proverb called ikabod over your life and over your family i'm speaking to both of you now from overflow too in the name of jesus i set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. Is by the anointing the spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of Jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 
and she's had severe menstrual pain. Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain is believe gone. that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness. In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as you prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now, when she presses the place before press she it. would feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God... You people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that... God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy, and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened, it happened once, August, August 26th. You just slump like that? Yes, I was falling, and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir? Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind. Other times, only the right one go blind. But now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person. Doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it. Right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. The a restoration of it in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in Jesus name